because of Jesus, we can rest. We don't have to earn our salvation. It is a free gift provided for us by grace through faith. You know, his sacrifice on the cross was sufficient. It was paid for us. And so often we can complicate it or make it more difficult than what it really is. Let us return today to the simplicity of Christ. What God desires, you know, Hosea 6.6 6 says, I desire mercy and not sacrifice and the knowledge of God more than burnt offerings. You see, what God desires is your heart, is your loyalty, is your devotion to him. Because when he has your heart, he will have everything. Your desires will want to be his desires. Your will will want to be his will. And Jesus said, you know, not my will be done, but thy will be done. In the simplicity of Christ, you know, it's just simple. Walking with him day by day, hand in hand, enjoying this relationship, this fellowship with our creator through his son, Jesus. And the more that you come to know him through his word, the more that you discover him and you realize what exactly he's done for you, and you begin to see him move in your day-to-day -day life. You begin to see him answer your prayers. Those things that you have been hoping for and praying for. And God has heard them. God, you know, has answered them. And he, if he hasn't already, he will. You know, because God desires that we would fear him above all else in the world. There's so many things that we can focus on, so many distractions, but when it comes down to it, only Christ is truly sufficient for us. And that is my prayer today for the body of Christ, for those listening to this message, is that you will remember the simplicity of Christ, of what he's done for us and what does it mean now in our lives is just a simple, loving relationship with our God. I hope and I pray today that if you're watching this and maybe life has gotten too much for you, you've gotten into this routine of looking at all these other things instead of Christ. And I'm here to let you know that, you know, God wants to take away your burdens. You know, Jesus said, my yoke is easy. And my burden is light. Religion makes things difficult. Religion puts a burden upon people. But Jesus, his yoke is easy. I want to pray for you today that if this is you, or if maybe you've gotten sidetracked, maybe you've walked away from Christ, whatever it may be, you know, the Lord is waiting for you. The Lord is waiting for you to return to him where you will be safe. You will be safe in his hands. Hallelujah. Father, I just thank you right now. We come to you, Father, in the name above all names, the name of your son, Jesus. Father, I just pray for my brother, my sister, or whoever might be listening to this message. Lord, I pray right now that you would quicken their hearts. Lord, I pray that they would remember, Father, your son, what Jesus Christ did on that cross, that it was sufficient. And now what you desire from us is our heart, is our surrender, is our trust, is our obedience to you, to your word, and I just pray, Father, that whoever is listening to this, that they would remember this today. And not only today, but Lord, that revival would truly occur in their day-to-day -day lives. And that they would trust in you and they would come to know truly of your goodness through this relationship with you. God, that you are the answer to everything. 
You are I am for our every needs. You have always been he from the foundations of the world. I thank you that that is who you are and that is who you desire to reveal yourself to your people through the knowledge of your word. Jesus, I thank you that you are the word. You are the, the word of God that became flesh and you dwelt among us. So Father, I just thank you. And I thank you for what you're doing even now in this hour, God, breaking chains, breaking yokes, and the heaviness off of your people. This is my prayer, Lord. This is our prayer that you would begin to do a work in the lives of your people and that you would finish the good work that you started in us, God. We thank you, God. We love you and we exalt you, Jesus, the name of all names. We pray all of this, Father, in Jesus' beautiful name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, God bless you all. And